hello everyone in today's video we will discuss about the beams different types of beams along with the practical examples in this video we will also see which type of beam is most frequently used in the construction of the buildings bridges and other infrastructure projects if you are new to this channel kindly don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you don't miss any new upcoming videos notification now let's start discussing the different types of beams the most frequently types of beams used in the construction industry are five types which are number one is simply supported beam second one is cantilever beam third one is fixed beam fourth one is continuous beam and fifth one is over hanging beam these are the most five common types of the beams which are most frequently used in the construction projects whether it is the project of the building construction whether it's the project of the bridge construction these five types are most frequently types of beams which are used now we will we will be discussing these five types in detail one by one number one we are going to discuss in detail about is a simply supported beam simply supported beam is a beam which rests on two end supports is called as a simply supported beam now let's draw an example for the simply supported beam you can see here one end rests on with the hinge support and other end of the beam rests on the roller support now you can see the arrow it's called hinge support and other arrow shows the roller support now you can see another difference on the right hand side there is a roller support and on left hand side there is a hinge support now for example in any other case if roller support moves to the left hand and hinge support moves to the right hand is still that type of beam will be called as a simply supported beam because the the beam still rests on the two end supports so that's why it's called as a simply supported beam now we have drawn an other diagram to understand it easily so i hope you understand about the simply supported beam now the second type of beam is cantilever beam cantilever beam cantilever beam is a type of beam whose one end is fixed and other is free is called as a cantilever beam so this support which you can see as my arrow is showing that is called fixed support so in cantilever beam one end is always fixed in this uh, like diagram which i have drawn here the left end of the beam shows the support like left end is fixed but it's not necessary that in cantilever beam always left end is fixed no in cantilever beam a right end can be also fixed let's say if we can draw a cantilever beam with right end fixed either is still this type of beam will be also called as a cantilever beam third type of beam is fixed beam a fixed beam is a type of beam whose two ends are fixed you can see this beam so fixed beam is a beam in which 
टू सपोर्ट्स आर टू एंड सपोर्ट्स आर ऑलवेज फिक्स्ड सपोर्ट बोथ एंड्स देयर विल बी ऑलवेज फिक्स्ड सपोर्ट्स सो दैट टाइप ऑफ बीम इज कॉल्ड एज अ फिक्स्ड बीम the fourth type of beam is continuous beam continuous beams are always longer in dimensions so in these continuous beams there are always more than two supports any beam that has more than two supports is called as a continuous beam now let's take an example two three different examples of continuous beam let's say this is a beam now here support is hinge support here support is roller support and in last there is a support of hinge so you can see that in this beam the supports are more than two supports so that's why this beam is called as a continuous beam so let's say in same scenario if the beam here is a roller support here is a hinge support and in last if there is a one fixed support is still this type of beam will be called as a continuous beam so any beam which rests on more than two supports is called as a continuous beam now the last type of beam is like the fifth type of beam is overhanging beam overhanging beam in overhanging beam there are always two supports but some portion of that beam always extends beyond the support now let's take an example now here is a beam here is a pin support and here is a roller support so you can see after the roller support here this portion which i have drawn here that portion is overhanging portion so that's why the beam is called overhanging beam any beam whose one portion or both portions extends beyond the supports is called as a overhanging beam let's take another example of overhanging beam if this is a beam and there is a here hinge support and here is a roller support now you can see here after the support there is a here is a portion from both sides you can see the portion is extended beyond the supports so in this beam both uh, sides there is an overhanging portion so this beam is called as a overhanging beam